Part of Aleister Crowley's so-called sex magic included orgies with little boys whom Crowley molested. Crowley taught that in order for the new eon of Antichrist to be established, he had to initiate the world into homosexuality. Crowley began by implementing many of his homosexual sex magic rituals into a secret order called the OTO. The musical group White Stains named themselves after erotic homosexual poetry written by Aleister Crowley, which Crowley grossly entitled White Stains. They keep f***ing with us, then maybe we're going to start throwing bombs to make them stop. We're young! We're queer! We're going to rule the world! No. We're young! We're queer! We're going to rule the world! You're about to see startling evidence that Crowley had as much influence on the world with his sex revolution as he did with the drug revolution. Aleister Crowley knew that if he was to establish the new age of Antichrist, he would have to destroy God's design for family, consisting of men and women as husband and wife. Crowley therefore declared in his book Magic Without Tears that family was public enemy number one. Crowley, who was out to destroy the family, said this, quote, Think what horrid images it evokes from the mind. Not only Victorian, wherever the family has been strong, it has always been an engine of tyranny. Curse them. They are always in the way. To the performance of this work, speaking of the new age, the nearest obstacle and the most obvious is the family. Since the Habakkuk chapter 2 and 4, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, blessings to the elect. Uh, basically, I want to do a short video uh, dealing with the origin of the Twinkie. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but uh, Spirit uh, had me reading an article, you know, and through something that was stated in that article about twinks and pedophiles and uh it led me to further research to find out the origin of the twinkie with the cream in the middle all right it was uh made to resemble a uh, young man's a young boy's penis all right because the so-called white man is a homosexual a freak a faggot all right uh, every every empire he had homosexuality and deception was a big part of the culture all right and as you see Today, the culture of homosexuality is being pushed upon the planet Earth, all right, because the, 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 he is not a good ruler, all right, with all the problems that are on the planet Earth, all right, as a ruler, he decides that homosexuality is the main vibration that needs to push out, which means that he got to go. He has to get out of the power seat, but this word, uh, I wanted to f focus on, uh, Let's, uh, Hebrews, I mean Habakkuk, all right, it's two and four. It says, "Behold, his soul," and it's talking about Esau. Okay, when you read this vision, Habakkuk is asking, you know, the Most High, you know, what, what's gonna, how is this gonna end, you know, and he, you know, how is wickedness and unjustness gonna end? And he showed him a vision of the last kingdom that will rule, all right, and uh, but he did it through the using the terminology of the, the kingdoms that are around about them, like the Chaldees and certain things. They did how their army was, but it was symbolically and spiritually talking about the last captivity, which will be Esau, which will be the end of this bullshit, all right? All right, it says, uh, so behold his soul, all right, and a soul, all right, let's look at this word soul, right? <clears throat> It's a uh, nefash, all right. It uh, it says a uh, soul, self, creature, person, appetite, all right. Mind, living being, desire, emotion, passion, all right. So your passion, all right. What you're about, your anastrophe, what you uh, are into, what what moves you, what gets your temperature running, or what makes you hot, what type of women you like, what you eat, and what type of food you like. That is your soul. We have a spirit that is given directly from the higher power, all right? But to every spirit is also given a soul which deals with your desires. So this, this person that Habakkuk is talking about, his desire, his soul, all right, which is lifted up in him because his soul and his desires are lifted up. Like it says in Psalm 73, his tongue walking throughout the earth, meaning his way of life, his vibration, it walks throughout the earth. 
All right, so his soul, which is lifted up in him, is not upright. All right, let's check out this word upright, which uh, was interesting to me because uh, the root word, I mean, the, the word here uh, for upright is Yashar, which is a part of my name. All right, which is a root word of my name, Yashua. All right, and uh, when you look up the meaning of it, it, it's the same. The person that is talking about is opposite of this. So it says to be right, be straight, to be level, upright, to be just. All right, to be lawful, smooth. All right, to go straight, to be pleasing, to be agreeable, to be straightforward, to be upright. Okay, all right, to make right, to make smooth. All right, to lead, direct, okay, lead uh, straight along, esteem, all right, uh, uh, esteem right, approve, all right, to be level, to be laid smoothly, to make straight, to look right, okay? So it's dealing with just, basically being just, okay, to be just, to be smooth, to, to be lawful and upright, level-headed, all right, balanced, okay? This man is not that, okay? The way that he rules is, is not upright, okay? So his soul and his desires are not upright, okay? But the just shall live by his faith, and we are going to have to live by faith because this nigga is going crazy. Now, we all know about Twinkies and how we all used to eat Twinkies and shit. Well, little, the so-called white man, all right, uh, when you do the research on this thing, because basically I was reading this article here, <laughs> Uh, that I stumbled upon. Uh, not this one. Uh, it says, uh, convicted pedophile priest, all right, that they caught claim Vatican had wrenching boy ring. So this guy got caught, you know, um, and he came out and just snitched, like, you know, well, there's a ring. And we know about you so called white people, your higher ups, and how you deal with pedophiles. And, I mean, how you are a pedophile and how you deal with little boys and how you sacrifice children, eat the flesh of children, torture children. Uh, you take their innocence, which you, uh, you through that magic, that, that's, that's making you pure because you're taking the anus of a little boy, all right? You are a freak, okay? And uh, so it says, hold on to your rosaries. This is going to get ugly. This is an article, and I'll post the uh, link in the description. It says, uh, Don Patrizio, Patrizio Poggi, a, her a parish priest in Rome who served five years for sexually abusing two teenage boys. So, all right, he serves five years, okay? But Plexico Burr serves two years <laughs> for shooting his own goddamn self, okay? And you got various other Jakes who have done some serious time behind things like a rock or any any anything you know you know basically in the system that they set up in these are their only options so they're some of them are going to fall under this category so they you got drug dealers they they're doing 20 years to life behind drugs or weed all right but the so-called white man rapes a teenage boy and he does five years okay and his system all right is is made that way so he's not Yashar, he's not upright, okay? His whole system, his whole way of being is outside of the realm of anything fair, all right? The so-called white man's psyche is set up on the fact that right and wrong can coexist, that coexist and it be just, okay? Uh, he lives on the mind frame that you can deceive people, all right? When you go into Sigmund Freud, all right, and his nephew who was deemed the father of uh, social uh, status and all of this they dealt with the psyche of people and like this so-called white man is bugged the fuck out man all right his mind frame and his way of thinking and ruling is based on total bullshit all right so it says uh <laughs> according to the times of london poggy claims that a former officer of the <clears throat> carboninary all right italy's military police served as a pimp Okay, the former Carabiniri police officer pulled up outside of a bar known as Twink. Okay, Twink is slang for gay youth. Okay, all right, next to Rome Central Station. So 
Twink. All right, this is the the the, the part, the thing I want to focus on. You can read the rest of the article by itself, but this is just another, ex, you know, uh, another Vatican, uh, Roman Catholic Church, uh, Catholic priest exposure. I mean, they they've been doing this. All right, nobody talks about it though. Nobody's complaining about this epidemic that's going on in the form of uh, pedophiles. Okay, who rape little children from the age of newborn to the age of uh, uh, 13, 14, 15, and then they grow up and do the same thing. This is a cycle, this is a vibration that is being pushed upon the planet Earth, all right? <clears throat> so let's focus on this word, twink, okay? Um, it says a slang for uh, gay youth, all right? So when you go, let's look it up. This is a twink on uh, Wikipedia. So when I seen that in this article, okay, um, when I seen this article, you know, when I seen this word twink, I automatically was like, I bet you that's where Twinkie comes from. And I never, I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I said, you know, I guarantee you that this is where it comes from. I knew, you know, because the Twinkie, you know, is a little cream filled uh, cake that we know of. Okay. Well, that we would eat when we were little. And I just looked it up and. You know, through looking up certain things, there's other sites that talk about it, you know, but I just wanted to show you this. It says, uh, Twink is a gay term used to describe young men in their late teens or early 20s, okay? Usage of the term varies, but traits attributed to Twinks can involve attractiveness, having little or no body or facial hair, slim to average build, or to appearing to be younger than their physical age. This is why the so-called white man, all right, this is why he prefers his models to be flat-chested and um, flat-assed, all right, because he wants them to resemble little boys. Now, this is an article I found, all right, and it go and it goes into and tells you how these the 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 owners of these. Um, modeling agencies and companies all right they deem beauty all right by the uh, look of a 12 year old boy so when you look at the so-called white man in the way that he deems a model they have to starve themselves they have to do coke and do all these diets to be skinny because he wants them to resemble a 12 year old boy and this is how all of them operate okay the so-called white man is a demonic piece of shit all right that needs to be taken out of power okay because you can't look at this. This is a little boy, a model, all right? And he's wearing high heels and, and woman clothing, all right? This is how they get down. All of the children in Hollywood, okay, they're raped, all right, put under mind control, chipped, all right? All of these uh, entertainers who, and, and uh, athletes or whatever, if you're on that top level, you're going to have to, all right, get into the vibration of homosexuality and child sacrifice and child molestation, all right? Um, this is why you see Floyd Mayweather with Justin Bieber all of a sudden. You see that, you know, they put you in certain situations where you can't get out of it, okay? And and you're locked in, okay? So, you know, that's neither here nor there. But it says, uh, Acne Studios taps a 12-year-old boy for its women campaign. The tradition of using children to sell clothing to grown folks is a long and storied in the fashion industry. And Acne Studios is continuing it for the fall 2015 season. All right, Acne Studios. All right, the label took quite an interesting approach for its latest ad campaign, tapping a preteen boy as its star. And how did a 12 year old boy get the opportunity to pose for a campaign selling clothes to grown women old enough to be his mother? Because his dad, all right. Create, uh, a creative director and yeah the these higher up men sacrifice their children unto homosexuality magic johnson sacrificed his child unto homosexuality various men uh sacrificed their children unto homosexuality okay in the in the uh, system okay will smith sacrificed his children unto the vibration and code of homosexuality all right going back to alistair crawley going all the way back to uh Alexander the Greek, okay, the beginning of Edomites, okay. Um, 
I said, because it's dad, the creative director, of course, all right? Frasse Johannesson, all right? Johansson, son of Acne's uh, Johansson's, does a pink jacket with oversized stitching detail, so it goes into it. Um, and there's a quote I want to read out of it. Hold up. Um, it says, uh, Uh, it says the cut shape of the character of the garment is a crucial thing rather than seeking approval from societal forms uh societal norms johannesson told wwd i immediately pictured frasse since he embodies his new breed to me i asked him and i'm happy that he wanted me to be a part of his campaign all right it says while we're all battling gender norms and appreciate the artistic angle we can't help but wish to see the clothes on someone fully grown all right so you know they're posing questions but um okay all right so you know he you know they're using this to push forth the the new way little boys should dress and if you look at will smith's son he has on dresses and all types of shit like that so they're using these young children okay all right to push forth the vibration of homosexuality okay so they deem a model all right they, they, they deem their models and what they find attractive by them looking as much as like a boy as possible that's the point of that okay but twinks it says uh the term twink has been recorded in use since 1963 but it goes beyond that okay it started with the British, actually, when you go deeper into the research, okay? It says, it may be derived from an older British gay slang, twank, okay? Twank, all right? Niggas say twank, all right? <laughs> all right? Twank is, is go, it goes back to the penis of a little boy who a pedophile sleeps with a rinse, okay? You, you, you know how Jake talks about getting some box or some 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 pussy or whatever it may be but the so-called white man he's looking for twinks all right it says meaning the query of a homosexual prostitute male a male willing to be ready to become any dominance partner okay so they dominate these children they do whatever they want to these children and these children and these pedophile rings are all over the 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 planet man all right and and they get away with this and there's no outrage okay but um let me just show you this one part, okay? Uh, let's see. It says, twinks are often clean shaven to emphasize a youthful, fresh faced appearance, okay? All right, um, let's see. All right, so it says the Oxford Dictionary says the word twink means a homosexual or effeminate young man regarded as an object of homosexual desire and that the word has origins in the 1970s. The term is derived, all right, from the snack cake Twinkie. Okay, and you go on a Twinkie, all right, and you click on that and it goes into this, all right. So the, the little Twinkies that we were eating as children, all right, the, they were made, all right, with the intent on pushing the vibration of that was a little boy's penis. This was the so-called white man's way of uh, having fun, you know, <laughs> I guess, you see, all right. It says, uh, the term is derived from the snack kink Twinkie, commonly regarded as quintessential junk food. And a Twinkie is goddamn toxic. A Twinkie can live up to a thousand years because of all the goddamn toxins that's in it, man. <laughs> We were eating that shit, man. All right? It says, little nutritional value, sweet to the taste, and cream-filled. Okay? Cream is among the well-known food related to euphemistic term for semen. In querying pornography, desiring youth, race, and fantasy, fantasy. So far, we don't need to read no more. Okay? This man is out of fucking control, man. All right? Hopefully through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai, this is his end, man. And he's gonna pay, man, for this wicked bullshit, man. This is out of order, out of control. 
All right, and we were eating these motherfuckers, man. All right, more uh, a reason to perfect your hatred for the so-called white race, the Edomite race, man, because they are out of control and they are tacky. They are trashy. They are terroristic to the planet Earth. They are terroristic to reality. They are terroristic to nature. They are terroristic to the brain. They are terroristic to the water. They are terroristic to the children. They are terroristic to the trees. All right, terroristic to music. All right, terroristic to everything on the planet Earth, man. Every mechani me mechanism on the Earth, man. The whole ecosystem, the body, everything, your cells. The so-called white man is unnecessary. All praise to Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Blessings to the elect. Shalom.